back again and this time I thought I would do uh, just a short review for The Last Flight by Julie Clark. I read this about two months ago and I don't really have a lot to say about it because there's not really a lot to this book. It's relatively short at 302 pages and there's honestly not a lot that happens within this book. Uh, now, I did think the writing was fine. I had no problems with the writing at all. I did not find it exceptional, but I thought it was very succinct. I thought it was very smooth. It flowed very well. And you do switch back and forth between the two main characters, Claire and Eva, who are two women who met in an airport and they were both trying to escape their lives. And so they decided to switch identities uh, and they each took over the other one's life. Now there is something going, now Claire's life is very obvious. She is a woman who was married to a politician who had a lot of money. So Eva knows quite a bit about Claire's life and is, and is able to intuit the things that she doesn't know uh, to fill in the gaps. Claire on the other hand and knows absolutely nothing about Eva's life. And so she's walking in 100% blind. Now I didn't really care for Claire as a character. I thought she was dumb. <laughs> uh, she's supposed to be highly educated and handling all these, you know, high society events and, and things like that for her husband. But a lot of the choices she makes were like, she knows what she needs to do, but instead of making the choices to keep her identity concealed, she walks right into ways to, uh, make herself known. <laughs> I just thought it was so dumb and it wasn't very believable. Uh, Eva, Eva, on the other hand, I really liked that character. I thought she was a good character. I thought she had a lot of depth and we get, I feel like a deeper look into who she is as a person. Uh, her backstory was much better, uh, much more interesting. They both had sort of a tragic background, but I just felt more compelled by, by Eva, by Eva's story than I did Claire's. And also that could have been influenced because I didn't really like Claire as a character. Um, then there's a lot of uh, slow movement in this book. Claire spends a lot of time in Eva's house thinking to herself and doing absolutely nothing but getting pop out of the fridge and looking at the computer and things like this. It just was really annoying and it was really boring. And then when things finally do start to move forward for Claire, she makes all these dumb choices. And then the climax for her story is extremely anticlimactic. It, that's one of the most boring climaxes that I have ever read in my entire life. <laughs> and I would have expected something better than that. Eva's story on the other hand, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to ruin anything if you haven't read the book. So I'm not really going to say too much about Eva's story except for it was way better. The ending was way better. And this book, and I, the, the one good thing I felt like this book really did well was the epilogue was great. I really liked the epilogue and the epilogue is normally not my favorite part of a book, but in this case, it was extremely satisfying to read that epilogue. It does tug at your heartstrings. It tugged at mine. I didn't realize until that point that I'd felt some of the ways I felt about this book. So even though I wasn't completely impressed, I did like it. It was fine. If you are the kind of person who gets stressed out by reading really fast paced, action oriented stories, but you do like mystery, this is a really, this would be a really good book for you. I think this would be excellent. And that's the end of my video.